welcome. It's Thursday and we are making some soap. Can you please comment? Are you team apple or team pumpkin? And what we are doing with hot process soap is we are making both. So I'm going to take you from the beginning. Now I have completed cooking my hot process soap and you cook it in a crock pot. If you are interested in learning how to make Soap. You can check out some of my videos in the Momsy Soap School playlist and I will help you with that. But for this, since I'm doing both, okay, I don't want to confuse myself. I was already confused before I got here. I'm going to do half pumpkin and half apple. And so the first thing I need to do is split the batch. I'm going to put half the batter in a warm this was at 200 degrees so that my batter doesn't get too cool. And if you touch it, it's really, really hot. Now, if you want to order any pumpkin gut soap or fall harvest, which is an apple, this um, you're going to want to comment to order. Um, Good Life Nutrition Center is going to have them available for $6 a bar. And Good Life is on the corner of D. Young, and it's near Aldi's. It's kind of south of Aldi's, and they won't. A little distracted. You probably know how this looks. Okay. All right. But if you order soap from me, you can get it for five dollars a bar, or six bars for thirty, with one bar free or free shipping. Bars are 95 grams, and I'm going to put you on pause and, and uh, bring you in for, oh, for the fun stuff, for the fun stuff. So I've got my apple on this side, and this is going to be apple. I think both of them, because they have so much vanilla in them, they turn brown anyway. So I'm going to put, let's make sure I'm right, apple on this side and pumpkin over here. So for this size batch, I use an ounce of the apple, and in this, oh, it smells so good, it smells like a baked pie, or like, an, uh, it's got a, like when a pie is cooking, but it doesn't have the bakery thing, like, but like when you're peeling the apples, like peeling the apples to put them in your pie, when you go to the orchard. Okay, now we're doing the pumpkin half with pumpkin marshmallow. Oh, it's really sweet. It's got the pumpkin smell, but it's really sweet. Oh, very delicious. So one ounce for this batch, too. Now, when I did it last year, I put some orange mica in it, but because... Um, the fragrance oil has vanilla in it. It turns even browner than it is now. So um, I need to make a note for myself to remember to not add the honey um, with my super fats because it makes the soap brown like this. But I assure you it washes and bubbles just the same. Right. So I'm gonna stir in the pumpkin fragrance oil. And I don't know if you can tell, but it, it does seem to be discoloring it even as I'm mixing it in. So that's interesting. That's very interesting. Mix in the fragrance oil very well. Now this batch is a little different. It has a little bit of oatmeal in it. So that gives it a little bit of a different feeling and a little bit of different suds. But what I claim is that soap cleans. The hot process soap is made out of coconut oil, soybean oil, I'm from Illinois, the land of soybeans, and manteca. There's also some stearic acid, and of course to make soap you have to have sodium hydroxide, you have to have lye. You have to have lye. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start by putting half of my batch on this half of the mold. And I have a line here, kind of show me where 
where to go. Then I am going to use activated charcoal on the pumpkin side because it reminds me of a friendly jack-o'-lantern. I have a lot more apple. Oh, it smells like a little bit um, cinnamon and nutmeg and stuff you would put in. Man, I probably should weigh it next time. That's a little bit of a problem. Bars in the middle, I will um, I will cut, and they will be gifts. Okay, so in the apple, I am doing from uh, my steps, micas and more. I'm sorry, I'm doing a nice red, ruby red mica, ruby red mica. And in, we'll start with that. So I'm gonna split it in half here. And I'm gonna find my, my cup. I don't know how well this is gonna work. It's nice and shimmery and glittery. Oh, it just makes it a disgusting brown. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Okay, then I'm going to leave it kind of chunky. try. The regular on top and that gives it a swipey swirl gives it a, a plop swirl that's what I call it because with hot process soap you cannot do intricate swirls you can kind of kind of plop it in there okay to my pumpkin and I'm going to use um, activated charcoal made from 100% hardwood. This is, can you see it? Somebody gave it to me so it was paid for. And charcoal is known to um, explode all over the place and got about a Okay. Okay. Oh, poof, poof, poof. Charcoal everywhere.
Oh, this smells. It smells like a bakery treat. Well, some people think that clay has benefits for your skin. I think I'm gonna do a little more. Except I lost a spoon. Okay, now what am I gonna do? Find the spoon. Do you have any fall things that you, you do for fun? Some years we have a hayride, but I don't know that I can't wait to make a fire. That's what the temperature has just changed. That's what somebody put a meme. The temperature dropped from 95 to 55 like it saw a state cop. And it is not that cool right now, but it has really cooled down. It feels like fall. It feels like fall. Okay, so now we're going to take the charcoal. So we have a line. Of tell where the pumpkin part is. Up here in the screen. Okay. Old arms in the way, but it's a usable arm. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, let's put the pumpkin on top of it. Yeah. Okay. Now this is unfortunate have trouble cutting or I'm gonna have a, a couple of if you like pumpkin soap let me know and I'll make another batch yeah this is a problem okay let's see what I can do to fill in with apple. Okay. Well, this has been fun. Kind of have a red, it's got a rusty color, so it's still it's a fall feeling. Okay, I have a couple of. So that another chopstick. I think that red did pretty good. It kind of goes with it. Okay, what else do I got here? I'm gonna pound down the mold.
heavy. Okay. Well, that concludes a fall season today. So if you need some pumpkin or you need some apple, you go ahead and let me know. And um, thank you for hanging out with me today.